Again, welcome to Data Mining and Predictive Analysis. In this lecture, we're going to discuss about data quality dimensions. So our main objective is to explain why data quality and also how do we assess data quality? What are the characteristics or the attributes of a data quality? And as we all know, almost in any business organization, a data is the main access or the main vital access of any business organization. With data, a business organization management can make a better decision or a valuable decision. So here yeah, we said that a variable data can drive a company forward and also can be used to make a better decisions, especially we are now in a data-driven society. Almost every business operations, even medical engineering, we always generate data. So information is only valuable if it is of, again, high quality. As we all know in computer system, garbage in, garbage out. If we have a high quality data, most likely we are going to generate a better result or we're going to get a better output. Now, if we have a low quality uh, data, we are going to generate a very bad uh, output or result or, or a low quality result. So computer system, we always need a GECO, garbage in, garbage out. Now, how do we assess a data quality? These are the data quality attributes, or in this case, we may say dimensions, six of them. We have to make sure data is accurate or accuracy we make sure our data is completeness, also is consistency, timeliness, validation or validity, and also uniqueness, especially if we store the data in a database system. We don't have, want to have the same data repeated over a thousand times or even twice. This would be a redundancy and it can have effect on data analysis. So uniqueness is very important. Validation is very important. Timeliness, consistent, consistency, completeness, and accuracy. Again, these are the six dimensions we, are, we will go through. If any data have these six dimensions in a very good position, then we have a very good high quality data. So let's start with what is accuracy. And here we say the term accuracy refers to the degree to which information is accurately reflect an event or object described. So accuracy goes with if our data or the information we have is accurately reflect whatever an event we have or any entity that we have. So for example, if a customer age is 32, but in our system, we have his age or a age as 132. This is not accurate. This information will be inaccurate. Now, what steps can we take to improve the accuracy? Here yeah, they say we should ask ourselves whether the information represent the reality of the situation. For example, a young person coming to buy something and he said it's 132 years by looking at a person who's 132 years, we may know that he don't have to be a middle age person to be a very elderly person. So we have to make sure the situation fits the reality or if it's an event, it fits the reality. If not, then we need to fix it. Now, next is the completeness, which came from the word complete. So we have to consider that our data is complete. And our data will be complete if it fulfills the expectations of comprehensiveness. And this would be again, business operation or an event in the organization, et cetera. So an example is that, let's say that you ask a customer to supply a name. You might again, make a, a customer middle name as an optional. So in this case, if the customer supply the first and last name, the data is complete. But if the middle name is required, then if the customer provide only the first and last name, 
then the data is incomplete. So again, we might make a customer middle name an optional or it's a required fit, it depends. Now, there are things that, again, we can do to improve this data quality dimension, which is the completeness. We should make sure that we assess whether all of the request information is available and whether there are any missing elements. So whatever data we need about an entity, it can be a customer, a product, we have to make sure we have all the possible information about that person or a product. In this case, we may say our data is complete. Next is the consistency. So consistency means we want to do the same thing over and over again. If we do the same thing over, we should get the same result. So that will be reliability. So at many companies, the same information may be stored in more than one place. But if this information matches, then we consider it's consistent. So we have two information of a customer stored in different two places. If this information of the same customer is different, then it's inconsistent. Other than that, it's consistent. So for example, if our human resources information system say an employee doesn't work no more in a company, yet we have a payroll which shows that it's still working or it's still receiving a salary, but it's no more working, this will be inconsistent. To re, to, so again, to resolve issues with inconsistency, we always need to review our data set to see if they are the same in every instance or maybe every department of the organization. Are there any instance in which the information conflict with itself? Then we have inconsistency. The next dimension will be the timeliness, very important also. So if your information available, right, when it's needed, then the quality of dimension called timeliness is fulfilled. Uh, the data is available when we needed it at the right time. So let's say that you need financial information every quarter, or let's say every three months. If the data is ready and when it's supposed to be used, then it's timely. But if the data is not ready and it's not possible to access it, then it's on, on timeliness. So the data quality dimension of timeliness, again, is a user expectation. If your information isn't ready exactly when you need it, then it doesn't fulfill that dimension, which is the timeliness dimension. The next would be the validation or validity. Validity means our data is correct or is genuine. So validation, it's a data quality dimension that refers to information that doesn't conform to a specific format or it doesn't follow a business rule. If we have a data set, we make sure the format is correct, the content is correct, then it's validate. So a popular example would be a birthday. Many systems will ask you to enter your birthday in a specific format, but if you don't, then it's invalid. And also to meet this data quality dimension, we must check if all of our information follows a specific format or a business rules. And the last is very important, especially when it comes to computer system. We don't want to store this a database with 1,000 customers, but we have 10,000 rows of data which means we will repeat almost everybody 10 times. These data have to be unique. That's why in a database system, we have a special attribute or the field called the primary key field. This is a field that uniquely identify each person or customer in a database. So for example, we may have two customers with the same last name or first name. We may even have a customers that they live together. So the same address, but Example of a social security is a unique number. Every person in the US has its own unique social security number. In a business organization, we may assign employee ID, 
which will be unique for all the employees working in the organization or for customers when we assign customer ID or patient ID. I quite remember in the earlier stages of database system, we use our social security number as a unique. Many business organization, institution use it as their unique field. But what happened again, as time goes on, technology get more advanced, people start to steal information online, personal data. So it's very rare today to see a database system whereby they are using other employee, customers, students, unique field as a social security number because it's a private personal and also very important number. So we can generate student ID, employee ID, then this field two employees cannot have the same ID. So it's uniqueness. So this would be the sixth dimension of data quality. And if we follow this sixth dimension and we follow the rules, surely the quality of our data will be very high. And this can result as to be able to get a very good result or a quality result when we analyze the data. As we mentioned earlier, garbage in, garbage out. A good quality data will generate a good result. A bad quality data may generate a bad result. Again, thank you for your time.